There are some things that make sports enjoyable which don't have anything to do with which team won or lost. There are the great characters produced in sports, and this season's great character is a young fellow named Fernando Valenzuela, who has produced a kind of baseball fever known as Fernando Mania. America in 1981 was a place and time when the pages in a folktale turned at the right pace. Faster than the evening paper, slower than a tweet, with space to soak in the wonder in every chapter. It's a fairy tale so preposterous, Dodger fans dare not open their eyes. El Nino is Fernando Valenzuela. Fernando Mania was more than one of the best stretches of pitching in baseball history. Did you take it out this? Sold out tonight. <laughs> Valenzuela's pitching. It was an experience without compare, before or in the four decades since. A singular story that becomes more transcendent each time we tell it. 1981 will be the year of Fernando Valenzuela. The left-hander from Echoaquila, Mexico, captivated Los Angeles and ultimately the country with his extraordinary pitching, one-of-a-kind windup and unassuming way. And of course here today, a lot of folks have come in just to see the Mexican phenom Fernando Valenzuela, and why not? He's the hottest subject in baseball. Fernando Valenzuela won his first eight major league starts, the longest such streak since the end of World War II. Struck him out, it's all over, and Valenzuela did it again. His ERA was .50, an all-time record through that many starts. Perhaps such early season hysteria could only be born in Hollywood. What else can be said but Viva Valenzuela? The phenomenon began by accident, which was part of the charm. All-star left-hander Jerry Royce was supposed to start the Dodgers 1981 opener, but strained a calf muscle during batting practice. So Tommy Lasorda summoned the 20-year-old Valenzuela. The result? a shutout victory. Valenzuela delivers, through ball, got him swinging. What a way to start. Fernando Valenzuela in his first big league start, pitches a shutout. Valenzuela spun four shutouts before the end of April. No major league pitcher has thrown that many in a season since Felix Hernandez in 2012. And while Fernando Mania began in April, the fascination reached its apex in May. In those years, it was said, rather earnestly, that for sports history to be made, the New York press had to witness it. Thus, Valenzuela's May 8th start, a Friday night at Shea Stadium, was a bona fide baseball event. And once again, a large crowd has come out full of the question, is he for real? Valenzuela, who hailed from a town of fewer than 1,000, had made it to Broadway. And nearly 40,000 New Yorkers witnessed yet another shutout by a one nothing score. Popped in the air foul, and Fernando has his fifth shutout. Unbelievable. As Valenzuela returned home for his next two starts, Dodger Stadium was changing. Chavez Ravine had been a Mexican-American neighborhood before the ballpark's construction forced the relocation of area residents. The relationship between the team and LA's Latino community was fraught. But in Fernando, Mexican-American fans saw a superstar who was one of their own. I think that Fernando Valenzuela is the best. He's the greatest, and I think everybody here has Fernando fever. It's a legend of Los Angeles baseball that Vin Scully's broadcasts were audible everywhere in the ballpark through a chorus of transistor radios. On night's Fernando pitch, Hall of Fame announcer Jaime Hyrene's Spanish narration carried the melody in many sections. Acercándose a la gloria, Fernando Valenzuela. The enchanted 81 season began with Valenzuela pitching nine innings in each of his first eight starts and ended with the Dodgers' first World Series title since the heroics of another left-hander in 1965. Valenzuela capped his historic season with the National League Cy Young and Rookie of the Year awards. No other pitcher has earned both honors in the same year before or since. 
Fernando Valenzuela remains a Dodgers legend, working on Spanish language broadcasts alongside Harin. And fittingly, last fall, when the Dodgers clinched their first World Series title in more than three decades, the victory and save were secured by left-handed pitchers from Valenzuela's homeland. The third strike three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. Such is the legacy of a serene sensation in two countries. No current Dodger, not even the Hall of Fame bound Southpaw, can replicate the electric feeling of Fernando Mania. It is the most wonderful, rewarding thing I think we've seen in baseball in many, many years. The fable that came to life 40 years ago.